Be better if I can see her. Okay, I'm live. Hi, everybody. I'm Shauna, and this is Ring Light Crafts. Um, came on a little earlier. One, to make sure you guys can hear me because I'm having problems with my system. And two, to see if you guys, um, who comes on to visit with us. Today, we're going to be needing, well, we can wait a few seconds. I don't have to go through it ten times. Although, I probably would in time anyways, and I don't mind doing it. Um, <coughs> sorry, my allergies are killing me. You wouldn't think they would at this time of year, huh? That's really my worst time. Um, I broke my tongue. <laughs> sorry. Uh, so, anyways. Do you have yeah. your system up? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Mel. Hello, how are you? Well, Ollie, so let's talk to Mel. How are you? I hope you're doing well. We've been... Wow. It's a bunch of people. Oh, yeah, a lot of people, huh? I hope they do come in. Hi, Mel. Okay, I, I, oh, yay, okay, I can hear you, see you now. I'm glad you're doing well. Oh, gosh, I don't know how to say her name. Hello, <laughs> I don't know how to say your name, I'm Jacqueline. sorry. Jacqueline Foster. I hope I said it right, hello. Anyways, we might as well get started. I'm Shauna, and this is Ring of Light Crafts. Today, um, I need to make a sign. And I kind of want to show you guys how to use stuff that you have around to paint your signs, especially if you um, are not an artist or can't draw a straight line, which, to be honest with you, I cannot draw nor cut a straight line. So kind of bad, I know, huh? And I am an artist, but I can't draw nor cut a straight line. So even my scoping, I still can't do it. But before we really get started with what we're going to do today, I actually wanted to show you guys something I thought was absolutely so cool. And for that, I need a bowl, salt and pepper, and not necessarily water, but we're all going to use a little bit of water. It's just so that you guys can see the difference inside the bowl. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it anyways. So I'm going to back you guys up, and I just want to show you this little thing. I don't have Yet, so. And okay, it's all right. Oh, we're doing fine. Uh, we're working on getting up the comments, so I'm gonna lower you guys down. I won't be able to see your comments, but welcome. Um, please like and share if you haven't, and if you would, I really would appreciate it. And oh, also, um, welcome to all our new people. I am very blessed and very happy to see that we are getting more people. I'm very grateful, you guys. I appreciate everything you've done for us. Thank you. I also do want to thank Buckeye Girl. Um, she has helped me get a lot of likes, as well as Ginger's recent things, um, and several others. So I appreciate all you guys very much. Um, so let's let me show you this little hack. Okay, how many of you try to get pepper out of your container, and it doesn't come out? Yeah, me all the time. The worst part about cooking for me, besides the fact I can't cook. Mel says, I already shared. Oh, thank you, Mel. I appreciate it. Brooklyn says, hello, Mel. Happy New Year, everyone. Hi, Brooklyn. Happy New Year's. Um, so what you're going to do is take your pepper container. I'm going to lower you guys down so you can see the bowl. I hope you can see the bowl. If not, I will hold up my computer so you can see it, because this is really, really cool. Okay, the bowl with the water really is just to... Um, not make a mess. When you're trying to get pepper out, you guys, and you're trying to get your pepper out of your bottle, and it doesn't want to come out fast enough for you to cook, the secret is, I saw this, I think it was a do-it-yourself thing. You take your salt bottle and put it on top of your pepper and do circles. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's literally pouring out. Hi, so let me show you guys. Hi, Ruth. I don't know if you can see it, but see how much pepper actually came out. Um, I'm going to set this aside, and I'm going to get a piece of paper because I think it'll show you. Oh, I'll just use my other sign. You'll probably be able to see it better, and I want you guys to be able to actually see it. Let me lower you just a little, guys. 
remember you can't get the pepper out you really got to work on it and if you're doing a big meal and you want a lot put your salt on top of it and there you go oh thank you Brooklyn Red said thank you too um so anyways it's pepper no I spilled the salt so as you can tell with the salt bottle on top of your pepper bottle it comes out so much faster you guys it's unreal okay now that I wasted the pepper can't eat that but we can toss it and save my sign we're gonna get down to our projects today <clears throat> excuse the cough sorry guys oh thanks yeah I saw on a do I want to say it's a yeah. DIY okay so today what we're gonna work on is I need a bunny sign <laughs> now I'm really gonna be <laughs> coughing because of pepper huh? um so what I did is I went to um Home Depot and I bought some of the wood they had and I cut out my own wood for all my own signs hi, hi Johnny hi Faith. hi Faith welcome you guys welcome so I got an A here and we will be I'll be making my signs but what I wanted was a bunny this is basically going to be the back of the bunny so I took my pattern that I made and I altered it to work with the size I want it and with the ears, the shape that I wanted my ears to go. So instead of um, just settling for the pointy ears, I really didn't want that. I wanted it to be like it's looking off and you know how the ears kind of go down. And the reason why, we're going to turn this right back around. Uh, Thomas says, hello ladies. Hi Thomas, welcome. Thank you, Brooklyn. Hi Jane. Hi Jane. Sorry, I'm like really behind. No, it's all right. We're behind our comments, but hello everybody. Appreciate you guys being here. So with our bunny Hi, today, Melissa. hi Melissa. We went ahead and we painted. I uh, painted. No, I did not. I went ahead and I pre-drew my um, pattern on here, but it's okay if I'm going to be hiding it because we know what we're going to be doing. So it's okay. What you're going to need is your glue gun, glue stick. A little tail. We're going to use a pink one today. Hi, Robin. And we will actually, this will probably be the only thing we actually glue onto our bunny, which will be a tail. You will also need acrylic or chalk paint. Thank you, Belinda. Or acrylic paint. Thank you, Belinda. You said that there. <laughs> you need paint brushes, water, and a cup of quartz. Um, scissors. Hi, Don. Thank you. Just in case you decide to add something else. Hi, Don. Welcome. And. My favorite of all times, of course, your toilet paper roll. You guys, don't throw these out. Um, I'm not saying save every one you get because if you've got a big family or even a small family, they can get overwhelming, and cardboards tend to cause bugs, and nobody wants that in their home. So just save you a few and maybe put them in a baggie or a Ziploc bag or something, you know, that you can use. And we're going to use this for painting. Whoops. It's okay. No big deal. Did not fall. And what we're going to do is with all, and notice I have a hook, that's for a different design. But with this design, we're using the opposite to side. And all I'm going to do, nice, is um, go ahead and we're going to shape this in an egg form. So really, this toilet paper roll is hi, now, hi Buckeye Girl. Jane says, hey sis. Hi sis, how are you doing Jane? So now this here is actually going to be our egg that pattern that we will be putting on our design but before we do that we're going to go ahead and set that aside okay. sorry hold on let's go through okay Buckeye girl says blessed robin says shared ruth says is that one fourth of an inch board and belinda says you're welcome thank you all <laughs> um wonderful you know i think it is thank to be you, honest robin. thank you Buckeye. Thank you guys. Be honest, I don't remember what kind it was, and I just bought it yesterday. So I feel really dumb. I did, got it from Home Depot, and it was like seven something, almost eight dollars. And of course, you got tax on top of that. I'm sorry, guys, I really don't recall the size. Yeah, I think it's one fourth. One fourth, you think so too? I think so too. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Jane. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started with our painting. I actually wanted to kind of do a black sky as for night and put glow in the dark stars but the more i've been thinking about it i want to go ahead so i'm beating my paint 
Okay, because I didn't open none of them. I'm going to go ahead and start with my chalky, and it's a dark uh, blue. And I'm going to go ahead and get, I think that, hopefully that's white, because I really can't tell. I do not know. What color is that? That's the yellow. That's the yellow. Oh, that's why I had this white. All right, so we're just going to switch over. We're going to use acrylic and not the chalky right yet, because I ran out of that white. And I'll pick up my darker blue over here, and even a lighter blue, because I think I'm running out of my dark blue. Well, this actually is chalky right here as well, so I guess it didn't matter. Let me get them open. I'm sorry. I didn't pre-open them because I was debating how I wanted to do them. And unfortunately, this blue is dead. So I'll go ahead and use the chalky, the lighter blue. And to start with, I'm just going to go ahead and put some in my lid. For those that don't know, if I'm very messy, if I make a mess, I'm okay with it. I really am. Because <laughs> I'm kind of weird that way, I will make a mess. I'm going to go ahead and pull some of my white in here, which is really runny. I think I'm actually going to... No, we'll just go ahead and use that. I was going to shake it up, but I realize it's almost gone. We'll just use it up. All right, and here's some white, and we're going to work with these two colors. Um, we're going to start by doing... I'll just set them here a bag and I'm just gonna go ahead and make it like a sky color and I want I'm using one of my new paint brushes in case you guys don't know I always use pretty much just three different brushes all the time but I have to kind of like buy new ones so we're just gonna paint literally right on top of this I don't know if you guys can see it and I'm just gonna do all kinds of motions it's not gonna be straight it's not gonna be one way the only thing and I'm gonna add some white to it kind of brighten it up just a little and I'm just going to go through it. And it's okay if I get in my pattern because, once again, we still know what we're going to do. So I just wanted to go ahead and we're going to add some of this in here. And if you wanted to do a, a like clouds or something in there, guys, or a brighter color, pretty much just do the same pattern I'm doing here. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Elaine. Welcome. Long time no see. I hope you're well. Oh, wrong lane, Elaine. My apology, but I still hope you're well, Annie. Hi, Anne Marie. Hi, Anne Marie. Welcome. Okay, so there we go. We're just going to put this on. I'm not going to make it real thin like a lot of them are because I just kind of want a little bit of different texture. Um, my ex husband was totally blind. So flat, he can never see, of course, for obvious reason. He had no eyes. Um, literally, his eyes blew out. Um, when he was an infant, I'm sorry. It was a hospital thing. But accidents happen. Um, and I never really talk about him. Notice the keyword X. Um, anyways, so what we're doing is we'll go ahead and we're going to add the two colors. We're just going to kind of blend them in together, going back and forth, giving it kind of a lumpy little feel is what I was trying to get to to begin with before I got sidetracked. My apologies. So we're just going to go ahead and add this in here. Oops, I got a little dust right there. I'm going to pick that up because today I don't want one. I put it on my hand. No big deal. It's non-toxic. So I'm just going back and forth, literally, guys, just back and forth with my brush. Absolutely nothing fancy whatsoever. And as I'm adding the two colors, they kind of blend together. And I don't think I will make a rainbow coloration to the sky like a sunset. I think I will go ahead and stick with this color because I actually like it. So just going back and forth. And I know it seems to take longer this way, but it won't. It'll get done really, really fast. Now I'm going to turn my little heater on just a little because it's freezing. And this will also, hopefully it's not ruining you guys that's going to heal me. If that bothers you guys, let me know. And I will move it or turn it off. It also helps the paint to dry a little faster, so we'll go to the next step of our painting here. Once again, we're just going back and forth. Let me pick up some more white, and we're just going to flop it in there. There we go. It's okay if one side is a little lighter than the other. It doesn't really matter. You can always add more blue if you want. And we're only going to go to a certain point because we're going to add a little bit of grass. So we're just going to go ahead and mix that white with this blue. And we're going to call this side good. There we go. Now we can go ahead and go to the other side. 
I'm going to pick up a white first this time, and then I'll grab some blue. And we're just going to do the same thing. I know it's going in our line, but we can work with that, so we're good. Normally, we would paint the background before we draw the photo or your picture, but not today. We're well, not today. We're just going to have fun with it. And whatever we get, we get. And we get the dogs barking. There we go. We're just going back and forth. Hi, Becky. Hi, Becky. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Red said thank you, too. All right, we'll just bring that down to all the bottom part here, too. So we kind of got, got this idea of a little back in blue sky. And I have an awful lot of white over here, and I don't want that much. I'm going to go ahead and pick up my dark color, my dark blue, and bring it over here. And we're just going to slap it right on there. Just like the other one, just go back and forth with our brushes. Now i got the heater on it, so it's drying it faster than I can paint it. Okay, I just kind of want it kind of fluffy all throughout of it. So it's good like this. And we can do the same thing over here, add a little bit of white, bring it up, make it fluffy. Maybe he's looking into a bunch of clouds, who knows. We'll find out though, huh? Okay, we'll just bring it down. Okay. <laughs> I can put my brush in pepper. <laughs> yeah, that don't work well. We'll just use my brush and my cup here. And grab this one. Oh. I forgot I have paint brushes in that one, new one. So there we go. Okay. Want to keep me some drinking water? Sorry, guys. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and put my paintbrush into the right water, so we can start to get it cleaned up. And now, what we're going to do with this little guy here is we're simply going to make him pretty much a white bunny. But I may actually add, and I wish I would have had it out, and I don't, so I may not add it. Dang. Oh, well. I was going to add some chocolate coloration to him. Okay, so our brush is dry. Let me set this over here. I just want to put my lid on my paint because I don't want it to totally dry out in front of that heat. And we'll just pop it there and leave the white there. Now, so what we're going to do with our bunny is we're going to go ahead and grab a different brush. I'm going to be using two different brushes, one bigger than the other. Actually, I'll use a sponge. We're going to use a sponge. And that's just to help with, the, obviously, the bigger parts. Um, so what we're going to do is bring in our white. And I can tell you now, I do not like this brush. Something got in it. And when that happens to me, it's not worth keeping because you're going to have this problem. Okay, so I'm going to just pick up what I started, just to give it some of the same texture on both, and then I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my brush. Yep. Yep, I was right. Not good. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the one I was going to grab to begin with right here. There we go. My favorite brush, as you can tell. And we're going to go ahead and we'll lower that down. It's making me too hot. Go ahead. We're just going to paint off bunny here. You might have to do the bunny twice. Depends on how the underlying paint works. And that's okay, too. We can do that. So it's just real simple. Just following the basic of what our pattern was in places that got hit. And it's okay that it's gone. Then we just make it work for us. There we go, nice and simple. I'm gonna turn him just a little, guys, so that I can see this part of his head work right here. And I can catch hi, that. Hi, so GPS, I guess that worked for you. So if you know Robin says hi, Lane, and all who joined. Becky Cutting says hi, friends. And hi, Jimmy. Hi, everyone. I really do appreciate you guys here. And we'll go ahead, and we're gonna go ahead and start painting the body. And remember, we painted some of it with the blue. It's all hi, right. Hi, who? Ruben. Oh, hi, Ruben. Welcome. We're going to go ahead, and we're going to pick it up. And like I said, we'll probably have to go over it twice, but that's okay. I got the um, the heater here. And go ahead, and we don't want to leave any thick. I was going to go ahead and do the um, charcoal mix inside him, but unfortunately, I don't know what I did with my charcoal package. I'm sorry, 
Beth says she saw it. She misses guys' comments. We will, at the end of this, if we, well, as soon as we can, of course, we will go through and answer every one. You pick up that little Hi, piece there. Hi, Deanna. Welcome. Okay, so what we're going to do, when it comes to the air, the air, the ears, I'm just going to do a little bit of painting to get the big parts. But I'm not going to worry about the ears just yet because we're going to go ahead and finish the body and the face. That'll be, let me get some more paint here. That's our first priority that we want to worry about. And don't forget, guys, if you're going to make one, don't forget your toilet paper roll. Okay, and that way you don't have to make a pattern for, with the toilet paper roll. You just squeeze it and you got what you need. Okay, and we can go ahead and get this side of our bunny here. I should have got my smaller brush like I intended. And the dogs are going crazy. The neighbor has, they're supposed to have no more than two chickens, I think it is, legally here. And they have a nice little selection. Normally, it doesn't bother me one bit. But, because they take very good care of them. But what does bother me is one got over the fence, they had them out of the cage, and my dog got it. And it just broke my heart. Because I... I First time I wasn't able to save it, and it's just oh, and I can't get mad at my dog. He's just doing what he's supposed to do, protect the home. So, okay, so we got our little body going here. We will come back and pick up the edges here in a moment. Let's go ahead and go up to our other side of the face, and we will go ahead and just take your brush and just go slow, you guys, it, especially if you're hid part of your pattern. And it's okay, whatever you do on there is what will work for you, and it will be perfect, just the way you want it to be. It's okay. And we can pick hi, up, Kelly. hi Kelly, and you can pick up any excess paint. Now, as you notice, this side's gonna be a little pointed compared to this side. That's because his face is over here and he's looking this way, just so you guys know in case you think it's kind of off. It will look like that when we're done. Hopefully I did it right. Okay, so let me turn the page, uh, the page, I'm going to turn the page, folks. <laughs> let me turn the board here just a little. And we're going to pick up the other side. Let me go ahead and bring it in as an angle. Because I didn't get that part done. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that in as an angle. And then pick it up. And then you got, whoops, I made a mess. But that's okay. No mistakes, happy little accidents, right? Isn't that what Bob Ross always says? We're just going to pick up that little mistake or accident I had, whatever, and pull it right back into my painting. It just gives him a little bigger head, and that's okay because we just might put a bow on him or a little scarf, something to go around his neck. Not a scarf, but you know what I mean. A bow is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so we got our little bunny painted here, and now we got to get to the ears. Let me do that. There we go. And the bottom half of the body, which is still not painted over here. So let's go ahead and finish the body first because I will be switching out my brushes. Let's just go ahead and pick that up real fast here. I saw some blue coming through. So we'll just go ahead and there we go. And we got it and all's good. And it's okay if it's not perfect because all uh, second to the last step, you won't even know it wasn't. So I'm just rounding the other side to try to pick up. I do wish I had my charcoal out. I really wanted to show you guys how to do that. But I will have to show you on a different one. And we can just pull that right up there. And I want him just slightly bigger and rounder right about there. And I caught it. Okay. And the more I do it sideways, the more I mess it up. So what I'm going to do... Turn it around so I can actually see what I'm doing. And just pick it up. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of our big brush, you guys. Where's my water right here? And I'm going to pick up my little brush. I think I will go ahead and use one with a point. And we'll use this one. Oops, can you guys see? We'll go ahead and use this one. Not exactly what size it is anymore because it's kind of, oh, wait. No, it just says four. Okay, so here we go. 
the part that I kept messing up, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to bring my small brush back to the top of where the circle would be begun. And I'm just going to pull it out and just try to pick up where I made it too small and too big. Try to round that up just a little. And then we can always come back and hide the blue on a little, a little moment here. Okay. Now we can work with that. But now we're going to go ahead and uh, skip up to the ear. I'm picking up some white. And normally I would take off the excess white, but since it's a bigger project, we're just going to keep it on there. And we're going to go ahead and start with this ear. I think I would do first. Part, I should have put some blue. So what I'm going to do is go ahead. We're going to make that all into our little guy's ear. We're just going to loop it around and bring it in. And then once again, we can just bring it back out. Now his ear won't be totally straight on this one side because his ear turns. And we'll pull him back. And just try to pick up that little excess there. There we go. I got him. Okay. Now go ahead. Oh, I know it's burning my glue gun. I kept smelling something burning. And go ahead. I'm just going to probably can't see this. All I'm trying to do is catch that little part where there was no blue. And we're just going to pull it in to the white. That way, never know the difference. Is It'll work. Then we'll go ahead and we're going to loop his ear. Because we want to give him that point, but we don't want it to be straight up. We want it to have that little bit of a curve. So we just can go ahead and pick his ear. And there we go. And this part will be rounded. And bring that down. And it's okay if I get in my pattern. Just once again, we still know what we're going to do. Another computer went off. It's all right. And there we go. Okay, so we got this ear started. Now, to make this look like part of the actual ear, like there's a little bent there, we're we'll going to go ahead and we're going to finish painting it with the white. We're going to have to come back on that one. We're going to have to make sure he dries. Let's just give him that little bit of a loop in here. There we go. And we'll go ahead and we're just going to pull it. I don't want a triangle, so I wanted to get rid of that little triangle. There we go. Let's go ahead and finish this other one, guys. And let's get to painting this little guy. This little ear here. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to make sure we pick up all the pieces that were showing as the original wood is hidden. There we go. This ear is a little bigger than the other one because he has it kind of slanted further down. Hi, Who does? Mel. Oh, hi, Mel. Somebody got their bike coming out. Got my door open as usual so you can hear any traffic. We'll go ahead and make his ear a little bigger here, and we're going to round it out. I'm going to bring it into his face and pick up that one little area that I couldn't get to with the bigger brush. Oh, that's one of those dirt bikes. They get to go up in the mountain range and ride their dirt bikes up here. They're not allowed to do it on this, out on the street area. They have to go up to the, the fields. Which is not far. Actually, <laughs> the young man pushes it so he doesn't get in trouble. But I guess today he's going to drive it. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick up some of these. Because there's tons of little lines there. And I don't want them to show. I just want to pick them up. And there we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and give it face back. Go back in a circle of motion. Because that's how his little head is. Now, on the ear, like I said, we'll probably have to go back at least once or twice. We're going to have to go back again on his ear because of where the blue came through, which is fine. Not a big deal. But we'll just go ahead and get a little bit started now so that when we actually do come back, we can just finish him up. Pick up all that excess paint there. Oops. Oh, well. It's all right. Let me just pull his ear a little more that way. That's all. And we just get that little blue. Okay, now we're going to let it dry. Go ahead and finish up his other ear. Then we're going to go down to the grass. We're all going to give him a little bit of a grassy 
area because we want to put some eggs in it. What, honey? What? Uh, oh, you're watching something. I'm sorry. I thought she was laughing at me. I was like, no. I know my voice sounds funny right now. But oh well. Okay. So I know his ear is a little funky here. That's all right. Because his ear is showing not only the back but the front part as well. A little bit of the side. And we will go back and we will fix that with the right coloration and everything in a moment. Can okay, we go ahead and pick up some of this? Okay. Yes, we don't like a pointed triangle. We're just gonna make it a little less pointed right there. I'm gonna flop it down if it'll let me. Sometimes changing direction of something is literally just the stroke of a brush. And we get him come down. Uh, Bucca girl asked, did Trixie ear give you inspiration yesterday? <laughs> Trixie's ears? Trixie ears. I didn't see it. What I miss? I have to go back and watch. That's a puppy dog. Okay, good enough. So, what we're going to do is pull up over here and just pick up this little blue section I saw. With a little brush and cover it. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead, guys, and just let it dry. Piece of a hair brush there. Let it dry. I'm gonna put my brush in the right kind of water. And we're gonna start at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the little grassy area here. And there's some blue here that didn't hit the white. But that's okay because we're gonna hide it all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go ahead and choose, turn on my heat a little higher because I'm cold. We're gonna choose to do do. Let me see. This green, which is a chalky green, this one here. And I think we will go ahead and we will bring out some of the yellow. And we'll use this yellow as well as probably white. And then we'll go from there and see what we think. Ew. Hey, folks, I'm changing my mind on that green. I don't like it. Not for this. Is this green okay? They look a lot alike, but when you open them, they're definitely not alike. Okay, Let's see, I was hoping for doggo, but I don't seem to see it in there. Where'd it go? That's why. Okay, it's hidden. So we might just use them both, they're both pretty colors. We get this one open here, and go ahead and get the paint off of that and toss that. Okay, that's a pretty color as well. So I will move my chalky away from my heat because it will just dry it really, really fast. Um, what I will do is I'm just going to go ahead, you guys, because it's a small brush. We can go ahead and we're just going to use a brush inside the chalky paint instead of dumping some out. But we're not going to mix our colors real well. Now, I hope you guys can see this. What I'm going to do is for the grass. We don't have to just paint it like a straight across plate just so you know it's gra grass. What we're going to do, I know it's a little brush, so I'll pick up a bigger one here, is we're going to go from the bottom and you're going to pull up. You're going to hit it on the bottom and pull up. You get a bigger brush, otherwise we'd be doing this all day. Let me take this one back. It's probably too big. Oh, there it is. I have my glasses on so I can't see. There we go. Here we go. This is what I want. Red's watching a little show. So if you hear her laughing, that's why. Okay. Huh? No, you didn't do nothing. You're fine, honey. All I'm doing, you guys, is once again, even though it's a bigger brush, and for some reason this paint actually is giving me two tones already, which is kind of cool, really. So I'm going from the bottom and I'm pulling up. It doesn't have to be, like I said, straight across. It's okay if it goes in front of your bunny because we're going to be hiding some parts of it with the paint and our little eggs anyway. So it's okay. So if you do that, don't panic. It's okay. And we're not going to smear it out. We're just going to kind of add these. So by just doing the strokes that way, I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, maybe you see it better on my hand. Like, pretend this is the bottom of your canvas. You start at the bottom, pull up. 
that's all I'm doing and I'm just pulling up and you can see that there's a couple of different colorations in it already I'm not picking up all the paint I want to leave the little bumps in there okay so in case you can't see it and why it's wet I'm turning my fan down or oh, away from me so I'm bottom up it's okay to go in front of the bunny it's not gonna kill the bunny and it look away from your design so we're just gonna try to do the bottom up and if you wanted to go ahead and add different colors like maybe add some of your um, yellow. Oops, that brush don't have an end on it. You grab this one. Sorry, guys. Um, grab some other coloration to add to it. You might want to do it while it's a little wet. As far as, oops, get some paint on that. Adding different colorations to it. Now, I don't want to use a lot. I just might want to add a little. And all I'm doing is the same concept, you guys. Bottom up, bottom, bottom up. And I'm not after making it perfect looking or anything like that. Bottom up. For the most part, bottom up. Even though this is a lighter one, let me dump some in here because apparently it's lower than I think. Let me get some out. There we go. Don't need a lot of this one. Okay. So you see, I'm just really getting the edge bottom. Uh, if you don't want that much paint, just wipe it off. Once again, bottom up. I want to get okay. Didn't want to walk there for a minute. And if you don't like the little extra, um, you know how it shows like it just been kind of blocked there. Take your green and just go right back over some of that and just give it that extra pull. But I'm not going to worry about it because I'm actually going to put an egg right there. So I kind of saw where it was going to begin with. I'm going to go ahead and add some of my other green and go from the bottom up and just pull it up. Let me add a little bit of water to this brush. It's a tad. It's getting a little too dry. Okay. There we go. And bottom up. So the most time consuming of this whole project is probably this. Because you're going from the bottom up. And we still got the ears to finish. But that'll be a real easy little, you know, switch of the brush here. I'm just pulling bottom up. And even if you want to pull grass, like, because grass isn't all one level, you guys, you might want to pull some higher. You know, I'm still basically doing bottom up. I'm not going from top to bottom. I'm going from bottom up. Because I want to have that little um, that little tip to it. So we just can go ahead and we're going to add a little bit more on this in here. And more water. Okay, I'm pulling bottom up. I'm going to go ahead and take my yellow back while it's still wet enough to use some of my yellow. Same concept, bottom up. I had too much yellow, pick it up. It's okay. And if you think there's too much and not enough somewhere else, go back and just add it in. That's bottom up. I almost did that wrong myself. Bottom up. Bottom up. It is already drying. It's drying fast. So... Let me take off some of that yellow. I don't want all that yellow in there. Bottom up. We can go back and hide that with some green. Not a big deal, but I want to get that in there because my green and everything is starting to dry so fast. And bottom up. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. We're going to finish this little area right here. We'll just do it real fast. And pick that up. Bottom up. And if you guys want it, you can make a smaller bunny and add a like happy Easter or anything that you want to you want on it. Just do it. It's your design. Do it the way you want it done. You can just put a bunch of eggs. It's totally up to you. So I'm just having some fun here, and I thought I'd bring you guys in, and hopefully you guys will like what I'm doing and make some try some yourself and let me know what you think. Robin said the grass is looking good. Well, thank you, Robin. I appreciate it. So once again, bottom up, we're almost done with the grass. I know I got some wood showing there, and that's okay because what we're going to go back and do, we'll just kind of make it disappear. And a bunny may be showing some of the lines from where the circle of the bunny actually is and not being hit by the paint, but that's okay too because we still have another step, and hopefully with that last step, you'll probably never see it. So nobody will even know it's there. 
We can make the grass as high or as low as you want. I'm going to go ahead and get some more brush, paint on my brush. I'm going to come back here and just bring it just a little higher over here. And then, oops, I see that spot. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Wet my brush. Get some paint off of that. And pull up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get the yellow. Get some yellow. It's okay if a lot comes off the first few strokes. It doesn't matter because we're going to shade it in. Or it'll just kind of blend itself. Bottom up. I did it wrong again. Bottom up. Sometimes I have to remind myself. Bottom up. Take off that excess. See, why at the very end it just wants to start drying up. So, whoops, wrong mess. Go ahead and pick up a bunch of green here. Not too much, but enough of it. And just enough to hide where the wood is still showing wood because we don't want that. Even though we're still going to paint something else there. Even though it's the last part of the painting, you just don't know if it'll hide that. So we all just going to go ahead and do bottoms up and hide it now so we don't have to worry about it later. Just in case it wouldn't have picked it up. Okay, let me add some water to my yellow. Put a little on my brush and just tap it in there a little bit of water. One good thing about this kind of paint is that bottoms up. It is the ch uh, chalky. Not chocolate, but chalk, it's just chalky. And you can just add a little bit of water, make it do what you want it to do. And if you want it, you can go back through. I'll, I'll just do a couple to show you guys. I don't really like this brush, but we'll make it work. Okay. All I'm going to do is pick up some of the extra paint of white. If you want to add, like, some white coming through here somewhere, let's see. I would go from the bottom up again. It doesn't have to come strictly from the bottom. It just has to go bottom up. And that way, it's looking like you got this paint. Well, not paint, but this grass is in there. Let me use what's on my hand. And we're just adding a little bit of white that will turn into, of course, a lighter shade of the uh, green or yellow. depends on how dry your paint already is. We're just going to add that. It's hi, just going to give it. Hi, Laura. Welcome. And Rita says hi from Cincinnati. Oh, hi, Rita. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We're just going to bring some little white in here. Remember, bottom up. And if you don't like it, if you think it's too much or not enough, you can always just. I think this is kind of not working the way I want it, but I'm going to hide that anyways with another part. So I'm not going to bother wasting any more paint on it. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these paint brushes. I got a lot I've been working with, huh? Normally it's just the one, but I'm trying to expand my horizons, I guess you would say. I got a lot of brushes for Christmas, so I'm trying to. See which ones I like of them. Go ahead and take this one. I think we'll use this one. Now we're going to try to do the next. Well, let's go ahead and finish our ear. Okay, while the grass dries, we'll just flip it over. Let's finish the ear. Okay, with the ear, it is the inside. So I'm going to take a soft pink. If I go open it. Gosh, I'm getting weak. And just take some of the soft pink out of the lid, mix it in because it still has some of the oil stuff that was in it in it. And we're just gonna take that soft pink. I probably should have got a small brush, but we're gonna make it work. The part of the ear that is showing that's supposed to be the front, it's just pretty much right in here. This is pretty much the front part of the ear that would be pink. So we're just gonna add a little bit of pink in here. And I am gonna have to pull up a small brush. Just so I can get that little edge. Because I don't want to take a chance. Let me just grab my small one here. Which one? Or this one? This one's a good one. We'll make this one work. A little bit of paper to wipe it off. And we'll go ahead and some, get it nice and in there. We don't want it with the bulges. You just want to get a nice amount of paint. So that you can place your hand where you need to study it. And add your paint. We're just trying to get those little lines that did not want to come out to begin with. And there we go. 
good. It's okay. It's okay. Trying to catch the edge here. Because this is the front part of the ear. And it's just kind of there. Because he bent his little ear. We could actually bring it a little higher because he has that little flop there. So I think we will because I think that looks pretty cool. Because you're seeing a lot of front of the front ear. And if I had my charcoal, I would do a different shading to make it more 3D. But we're just going to go ahead and do it this way. I would have blended the charcoal in with my white. And just gave it that little. I'm going to slightly tilt it where you see a little bit of the front. So we're just going to add that little teeny bit right in here. Not even a lot. I should have went through and painted that part white again. I forgot to. But that's okay. We're just going to go ahead and add a little bit of pink. Because that's all you can see is that on that one. There's a tad bit of pink coming through there. And that's too much paint. Wipe it off. We'll go over it one more time. Just give it extra pink right through here. And good enough. Let me wipe my brush. Oh, wait. I forgot one crucial thing, guys. And I do want to do it. Let me grab my brush back out here. Okay. We're going to go ahead and add our pink again. This time, I don't want a lot of pink at all. So if you get too much, don't feel, you know. Mel asked, did you draw the rabbit for him? And Robin said that she did. Yep. 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 I like my bunny wraps. I also did one. It's only about so big. If I find it, I'll show it to you guys next time. It's all black, and I got three little bunnies. And it's looking, or one little bunny, I'm sorry. One little bunny right in the middle. And he's looking at a starry night. And all of the um, stars are glowing a dark pink. So when the lights are out, it glows. One of my favorites. Um, there we go. So what I'm going to do is I told you that the face was kind of off because it's the back side and his face is turned a little. All we can see of his face would be a tad bit of his nose. Just enough. So you know there's something new. Oops. There we go. And the nose is kind of like a little heart. So we'll do half a heart. And that's all we're going to do. We're going to bring that little piece down right there that's being stubborn. And it's being too stubborn so I'm not going to do it with a lot of paint. Just pick up the very, literally just the very tip. And then we're just going to bring that right down. And make it do what we want it to do. Okay, good enough. Now you know that that's the front. He's just looking over that way. And that's all you can barely see. Can't even really see his eyes. He's just kind of there. Because this is really the back side of the bunny. Now... We're almost done with the bunny. With the exception, we got to do the tail. But before the tail, we still have some more painting to do. And this is where your toilet paper roll is going to come in handy, you guys. You take it and just squish it to the shape that you want. A shape that maybe you think the egg would look like. And, you know, eggs are usually more rounder on the bottom than the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do kind of like this little concept here. And... This is where our eggs are going to be going in. And what I'm going to do on this one, and I should have got it out. I think it's hid underneath all my stuff over here. I wonder if I can do that. I'm not tossing it in. My little pillow. I'll just sit it there. Let me grab an envelope here. Okay, I'm just grabbing an envelope, guys, in case we're missing a piece of it anyways. And you'll see why. Okay, don't want the bill. Just want a piece of an envelope. Because what we're going to do now is I am going to switch them out. My paints back a little. And where they should go. I'm missing a layer. That's what it was for. Oh, there we go. Oh, so cool. Cute, funny. Oh, Robin said, are you going to show the other ear? Yeah. The other ear has a little bit of. Uh, the color here showing of uh, the pink. And I think um, once I find my charcoal, I will show you guys before I do it. Girl. I will. Huh? Go ahead. Something oh, no problem. Is I would go ahead and I would add more details and lines through it with the charcoal. And then I would spray it to seal it. But by the life of me, 
I cannot find my charcoal. And I just had it. And no, uh, Shauna, confused here. You're the lady painting the bunny now, LOL. What happened was I replied to a comment and it went under your name instead of bring it like. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm the one painting now. You're right. My daughter's answering the questions and she tried to answer it, but for some reason it switched from answering under ring of light to answering under my actual name so my daughter actually right now is answering questions i am definitely painting okay so what we're gonna do that's, that's funny we're gonna take a piece of paper you guys and i'm just gonna go ahead and take some paint and i think because i don't want to waste these chalky paints because i want them for fine details i'm gonna go ahead and take this one and robin said sean is painting and dad her daughter is answering Yes. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this flush, fluffy color, blush color. And the reason why I want to switch off because I had to dump some of this out and I didn't want to really waste my other ones. You can use any color you want at this point, guys. I wanted to try something different. I don't know if you guys can see me. Let me switch them out just a little so you see what I'm doing. I'm going to take my my little um, toilet paper roll and I'm going to just stick it in this paint. We're going to see what will happen. I don't know. I may ruin my whole painting. I don't know. But we're certainly going to try it, right? So I just got a nice little mount on there. Let's bring back our little bunny rabbit. Okay. Bring back our rabbit. And let's say we want an egg right here. We're just going to put it down there and pick it up. Okay, we got the shape of the egg. This is just using this as the part where I would draw it in. This is replacing me actually drawing it because I figure I can get a better shape out of this. And I want an egg kind of right there. And I thought it'd be something good to use if your kids wanted to help make eggs. It's kind of like a little print that you used to do with like a big potato in school. Um, and I will add a little bit of the egg there. It doesn't have to be the whole egg, you guys. You don't have to show that whole egg at all. Matter of fact, let me just show the very tip right there. Let me turn it this way so I can see both sides. And add it right back where it was and bring it down slightly. Okay, that's where my eggs are going to go. And now with this, you can keep it, let it dry, reuse it, or toss it. I'm just going to set it aside. And now here's our eggs. We're going to work with these four little eggs. I'll probably add a little fifth because you know it's supposed to be the odd memos. So at this point, I am going to grab my brushes back and find the one that I like using for the eggs, which is right here. And let me clean this off. So what I'm going to do to make my eggs, I already got that paint in there. That doesn't mean I have to use it, you guys. It doesn't mean you have to use that paint. That's just my border. If you want to, you're welcome to, and you can design it from that. But since they're Easter, I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to dump a little bit of this stuff into my lids. These are all the chalky pinks. I want a pink egg. And what I think I would do is go ahead, open up my water. I'll just... I have to use my drinking water, but that's okay. I'm going to add some water to this paint because it's drying out way too fast. So we'll add just a little. And even though I got pink, I got other stuff down here, I'm just going to fill in where I want my egg to go. This is really just going to be a basic back color. And then from here, you design or you don't design. It's totally up to you. They can be solid colors. And we're going to pull the other color of that egg, the brown color that I have in there. You can pull that in. And then if you even want, if you don't want them showing that much, the way we did the grass, you guys, once this egg dries and you design it your way, you go back and do some grass and hide no, a little sir. bit of it. Okay, thank you. Could I do it for the egg? And then Robins are very clever and then no I does chalk paint dry faster than acrylic? Um, my experience, I have noticed that the chalky paint does dry faster than the acrylic. And I don't know if it's because it's hotter here than it is in a lot of places. Because we're in California, 
even though this is winter, it is very, very sunny outside. I have my blinds shut. Otherwise, you guys won't be able to see anything. No, shut up. Okay. So, we're just having fun with it, Mel. Just have fun. Okay, so I got the basic of my egg here, my shape. And I'm pulling in that color. I'm going to grab a little brush. If I can find my little brush, not that one. And I don't like that one. Oh, here you go. I keep forgetting what color they actually are. And just pick up the coloration. I'm just trying to pull in more of that color in here, you guys, in case you're wondering. And just pull that in. And there's still a way to hide that if you don't want that color in there, if you decide you don't want it. Or if you decide you want to use it for shading. All you do is catch a hold of it with your brush. A little, um, try to make it a little wet, wetter than what it is. And just pick up that paint and pull it right in. And then it gives you some extra shading. And you didn't have to do anything fancy with it. You simply pulled it in. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and add some more pink around him. The hardest part I think of this is you do have to let the eggs dry. But they do dry pretty fast. And then you just add. I think for time's sake, because I know everybody has family and stuff they gotta do. We'll just go ahead and do them solid color. But don't forget, guys, you can put all kinds of neat little designs on them, just like you would your Easter eggs if you celebrate or do Easter eggs. Well, this would be the part that you let your kids do and have fun with because they have so much fun. Now, the part that I just got a little bit here, I actually want that to be my another pink egg. I'm just going to add him in there. It's real simple. And we're just going to pull it in. Well, I did up with my grass. I'm going to go down with this paint on my egg. The reason why, I'm just wanting to blend it in with the other paint. And I really, truly don't want to have to go back and redo the grass everywhere. Because I should have done the eggs before I did the grass. You don't have to. It just is easier. And we're just going to go ahead. I want to pull down, not up. And pick up that. And there's my little egg. And that one's hiding in my grass. I don't know if you can really tell. I don't know if you guys see these at all. Do you guys see them? The little eggs coming in there. So I got two semi-pink. Go ahead and fill this one back in again. And for time's sake, we're just going to go ahead and let them dry. And then... I got two pinks. Let's do a yellow. Okay, guys? How about a yellow? Make it stand out a little more. Something different. This and is... Robin said, we have time. I enjoy watching you your crafts. Don't leave. <laughs> well, thank you, Robin. I appreciate it. I enjoy doing them. Okay, so we're going to pick up some of this uh, yellow. Uh, see, the yellow is already drying. And it hasn't been out that long. So when it gets to that point, you guys, add water. Watch me get clean water, not dirty. And just add a little drop of water or two. Mix it in. Get your paint going back the way you need it to be. And it's still a little too thick. Let me pick up more water. And there we go. Nice runny paint now. There we go. That's what we want. Okay, I'll go ahead and make this guy yellow. I don't know why, but it seems like this would be a yellow egg. Go ahead and paint him. And I got sloppy. It went out, but remember what we say? No mistakes. Happy little accidents. So that actually could be where I make my fifth egg. We'll just go ahead and fill that in. And if you guys want it, you can, you know, do the black or do the... The dipping in the exact color that you're going to be doing the egg itself in. And then you don't have to worry about picking up the paint and blending it. There we go. Now we're going to use some of that to blend. Perfect. Come on in there. And pick it up. You're kind of going in a, in a circular motion because eggs are. 
And then that way it gives you that appearance that is round. And I just went out, and that's okay. Just pick it up. Oh, I see why. There we go. We'll just pick it up, fix that. And if it keeps doing that, I'm not going to try to fix it again. I'm just going to go on. And we can add grass. Now we got a yellow egg that we'll have to fill in. In design. You can see the green coming through it. It's kind of cool. I'm actually just playing with the color, mixing it, because it's a pretty cool color, actually. And we'll go ahead and do one more egg. We're going to do this one purple. Let me go ahead and clean up my brush. Uh, now it's at 8 to 2. You can put the colored glitter on the eggs. And then Carol said, are you going to make any of the eggs like they are hiding? Yes, I am. And Mel, that's an excellent idea with the glitter. I actually really like that. And I am going to hide them. Um, some of them, I'm going to be pulling the grass back up. But let's go ahead and do a purple one real fast. Here it is. Let's go ahead and do one purple. And then get that to open. We'll go ahead and do some clean water on this one. Because I'm just going to dip it right inside there. I'm just going to use this edge. Okay, we'll go ahead and make this one purple. And like I said, I should have done eggs first, but I honestly just was enjoying painting. So I wasn't paying much attention. So what you can do is go ahead and design your eggs the way you want them and then since of course we do want them hiding we're just going to go once it dries just a little get that go down there see that was safe and look how fast it came off that's pretty cool i love this paint okay so we'll go ahead and just pretend that's perfect you guys okay well you know my ideal perfect is just what it is it is Okay, and we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do the next part. Let me get rid of that paint. I keep pulling that brush in here every time, and that's kind of dumb because I want that brush back every time. So let me just grab it one more time and wipe it off again. And now you mentioned the grass because I didn't do it. I should have done it backwards. Oops, boy, that was fuller than I thought. I just wasted my paint, not cool. Anyways, what you can do is once they dry, let me get this on here just a little bit so we dry a little more faster. Let our bunny here dry for a minute. And to hide some of the eggs, what I recommend is remember the grass, bottom up. Bottoms up. Just pretend. You went right back through, and you all literally just go bottom up. And that will make some of the eggs look like they are hiding under the grass. And if you want the other coloration to them, you simply go back and do the exact same thing, bottoms up. Hi, Betsy. Hi, Betsy. Welcome. And Carol said, so this is to frame? Um, You can frame them or put them in um, reefs or... Whatever, however you want to do it. I haven't really decided what I will do with him. Sometimes I just like to get up and paint. Or you can just put one of those little make it yourself backings on it, like I did with some of the other stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Thank you, Mel. I think it would be. Just put it on a in a frame. And then we'll just pull in bottoms up. Let's hide this uh, egg in the grass. Bottoms up. And then this one's on his side. Doesn't have to be hid that much, but I think it really needs to be hid. I agree. So once again, bottoms up. And then to add the other colorations into it, the exact same thing as before. Not throw out my brush this time. <laughs> Here's my paper. And then we'll finish our bunny. You get the green off this because I tend to be using this one more than any of them. And good water. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and undo what I just did. Pretend I did not do that because that was really dumb. 
okay, what I did was I was picking up my pink paint instead of the white. <laughs> I wanted some white, okay, not a lot because I'm also going to mix in some of my yellow. Just so I can kill two birds with one stone and bottom it up. So Johnny said, Mel, have one have been painting. I miss your answer. Went for water. Robin said, you could put it on your door under a porch with a big bow at the top. And oh, Mel said, she idea. didn't answer me, Johnny. And well, oh, sorry, I didn't see a comment. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see a comment. Um, Mel, what was it? How long I've been painting? Did I get that right? Yeah. Sorry about that, Mel. Um, I actually have been painting for, well, about 35 years. I started pretty young. That was all I ever was really any good at. I got paper and pen and scribble. I love to paint. I love oil painting. Um, just all kinds of stuff. So about, I have to say, at least a good 35 years. Mel says cool, and Robin says, or better yet, in an entryway. Oh, there you go. I like that. I like both those ideas, actually. So once again, with the yellow bottom up, guys, you can add as much or as little as you want. And this egg, somebody wants to be here. Oh, that wasn't smoke. I didn't pay attention to what it did, guys. My bad. Anyways. I'm just going to make it darker right through this. So the egg is showing through the grass, but that's okay because it's just hide and seek. And bring some of this darker green back over here and pull it up with this yellow. And add some right to the very top, bottoms up. Doesn't matter if you're starting from the bottom or starting right in the middle of the picture, it's always bottom up. That way you get to what looks like your little blades at the end of the, how the grass is. There you go. This bottoms up. And there we go. Okay. Now let me get rid of this brush. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and finish our little bunny. Let me get rid of some of these paint guys. Because they do dry pretty fast and frankly I can't afford to keep replacing them. Because I tend to leave them open and that's not good for me. Okay. So we get some of this paint out of our way. And our last step with our little bunny, unless we go back and we uh, we can, if you want it, you can actually go back with a marker and just kind of outline him, add little design and details over charcoal, however you want to do him, you can. So let me just set that aside. We are going, oops, one more chocolate tour paint. Not, excuse me, not chocolate tour, just chalky paint. We're gonna put on our bunny tail and I toss his little tail right, excuse me, right there. And this is out of, um, I think you, oh, I know I got him at the Dollar Tree. It was in a, a package, four dollars, so it's a dollar eight with tax. And these little guys come in handy, and they got them in all colors. They had a lot out during Christmas as well in the Christmas colorations. But we can go ahead and do a little pink, oh, bunny, the little pink tail. So our glue gun's finally coming into play. Set that aside and add a little bit of glue. I probably, as usual, add way too much, but that's all right. We'll mark so some off. Robin says she can draw an awesome face and does wonderful work. Carol says Robin oh, has you. shy faces. And Mel said, Really, Robin, that's so cool. I wish I could. And then Johnny said, It was just a neighborhood thing in his yard. Cool. So the dog starts barking. Oh, the neighbors? It's okay. And we add a little fluffy tail. And last step you do on any painting, you guys, that you do, doesn't matter how big or how little, make sure you sign it. Okay, I'm not going to sign this one just yet because I will probably go back and add maybe a little piece of a bowl coming out. I don't know. And I might even go back and add the chocolate in it just to give it that more of a realistic look. But let me show you guys. I'm I'm going to bring you guys up, so watch your eyes. There you are. Let me move this out of the way. So here's a little bunny plaque. All nice, simple. They can do it with your kids. They can have fun making the little eggs. I think it would be pretty cool to have the kids make the eggs. Yeah, so the bunny's cute. Oh, thank you now. And I do have four eggs, so not 
an odd number. So I will go back and I will probably just add a little egg maybe peeking up somewhere. That way I got my odd memo. So there's our little bunny. Something real simple for the day. Let me set him here so he's out of my way. He's going to drive for a minute. And I'll go back and finish him up. And then when I'm done, I'll take a photograph and show you. And I wanted to clarify something with you guys because I said I would do it. And I didn't do it. So I want to make sure... I show you why. Mouse is cute and mouse is the hood. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mel. Hi, Mel. Okay. Remember the Christmas tree we're making? It was Debbie. a. Oh, hi, Debbie. It was a pin interesting I found, and I said I'd finish it. You guys, I tried. I'm sorry. I'm not going to finish it. I absolutely do not like this concept at all. The only thing I like about it would be sitting it on top of um, solo light to sit it outside and make it glow. Although I got ideals for the bottles, I don't like the concept of how it works. So I'm not going to finish it. I'm just going to set it aside and maybe use it in something else. Or pretend you don't see me do this because normally I would never do this. But goodbye. Um, I truly, truly, truly did not like the fact that one, using food product. And two, the way they kept breaking, it just kept breaking so many of them it was a waste of food and bad enough to use the food products but it's even worse to waste it so i would have to say pin interest beautiful photograph anybody that can do it thumbs up i on the other hand not that patient so on that note you guys i thank you all very much for coming and joining us today and i hope you liked our little bunny we made and I will go through and probably, like I said, use a chuckle. And then I will show you guys a finished project. And I will finish my bunny. <laughs> and as always, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, huh? Mel said, what did you put on the sides? Hi, Mel. Of the sides of what? Yeah. Oh, of the tree. It was um, bow macaroni. Uh, it was a project that it was a uh, food item that was bought, and nobody in the house liked it, and we couldn't tolerate it. Um, it I just said, sorry, didn't like it. Yes, did. um, oh no, problem. Thank you. Most of welcome back, Robin. Okay, thank you. Good night. And Robin said, "Did you get the towel on?" And then Mel said, "Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you guys here again. We got our little towel on, and hi from Centinelli, Natty." Did I see that right? Mm -hmm. I don't have my glasses on. I thought someone said hi from Cincinnati, Maddie, but I don't have my glasses on. So anyways, we got our little tail on, our little bunny. I am going to add one more egg because it's an even. It should be an odd number. And I'll probably go back with charcoal and white paint and do the same concept, basically, of what I did with the face. Just to, just to experiment, see if it works. And if it doesn't work, I'll let you guys know. And we will know next time whether to use the charcoal or not use it. And I hope it works out. I think it would be really cool yeah, if it so does. Okay. Oh, thank you, guys. You guys, as always, I really appreciate you guys being here. If you can please like and share, I really appreciate yeah, it. Thank you for doing a live. Who did? Carol. Oh, my pleasure, Carol. Thank you for joining us. Um, you guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you come back for our next one. And as always, be blessed.